Hello everyone, it's Katie Weather here. Today we're talking about the severe weather threat that's going to be going on today. Across parts of the north central United States here, we're going to have a slight risk in this area. We have a slight risk of parts of North Dakota, South Dakota, um, Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota. I'm also going to show you the future track, future track radar for this area, the future, ca um, future surface based cape, and the future bulk shear, just to give you an idea of what we might see with severe weather. But starting off with our categories, I'll just say the tornado risk and everything else um, the SBC issued. But starting off, we have a slight risk right here for severe weather for parts of the north central United States here. So this includes parts of North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota here. Part All of those are in the parts of the slight risk here for severe weather. So again, large hail, damaging wind, wind gusts up to 40 to 60 miles per hour possible and damaging hail. So yes, that is our slight risk. You see those green shaded areas here? That's where we do have a marginal risk in those areas here. But yes, that is our slight risk. But before I get any further, I would ask that you do subscribe and leave a like if you like weather related content. Yes, but don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get into our tornado threat. So but yes, we do have a pretty, um, it's a pretty small tornado threat, but it doesn't mean you won't see a tornado, definitely. So we have a tornado threat in this area, two, only a yeah, 2% chance for parts of North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska here. In that 2% tornado risk, again, it is low, but it doesn't mean you won't see a tornado. So definitely stay weather aware and stay safe, because that doesn't mean you won't see a tornado. But yes, that is our tornado risk. So yes, again, even though it's low, doesn't mean you won't get one. But yes, it includes parts of North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska. So let's go and take a look at our um, hail risk right here. So this includes parts of North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska for our biggest chance is a 15% hail risk in this area right here. It includes parts of North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska here in this 15% hail risk. But yes, that is um, our 15% hail risk, but this is our 5% hail risk, which we could see some hail, but it should be smaller if we do in this 5% area. Includes the same states, but includes parts of Minnesota, Iowa, and a little bit of Kansas there. And we have another one of these 5% over here in parts of Texas here. So yes, definitely be on alert because you could see some hail. Move your cars in the garage and stay away from windows. So let's go and take a look at our wind threat. This one, almost the same area here. Um, but it's a, it's a little bit different here. Almost looks like the same areas of our site risk. Yes, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota, you guys are all included in this. And we have a surrounding that. This is our 5% wind threat. So you guys, in all of these green shaded areas here, you guys could all see some winds here. So definitely move anything that can blow away from inside. You have a, um, another area here in parts of the eastern United States here that could see some um, strong wind. So move your cars in the garage. We don't want them to get... Um, Hailed on and definitely move anything that could be blown away or blown over inside somewhere because there's going to be gusty winds here in these on this map here. So let's go and take a look here. Um, I think that's our last thing on this because tomorrow, yeah, this is our last thing on that. But tomorrow we only have, um, tomorrow we only have a, a marginal risk, so I'm not going to show that. But yes, this is our timing it all out for you guys. So exact timing here, we start about 2 o'clock, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you can definitely see, it. it's already starting right now, this is about 3 o'clock right here, we're already starting to see some lots of storms right here in parts of Montana and North Dakota, um, but yes, it's already starting to form right here, so let's go ahead and time this out for you guys some more, so, so yes, we definitely see, the, oh look at this, line of storms starts to form right here, looks like a, bit, a storm right here is starting to back build right here. So yes, storm is starting to back build and it's going to create a line of storms right here. So big line of storms right there, moving across the state of North Dakota there. And then we start to see that it moves. Wow, this becomes a big area of storms. Looks like they're going to meet right here. And look at it, we have a big area of storms right here and another one right here. That's why the slight risk dips down here. There's two different storms right here. There's the line. And then let's see what happens here. So we go ahead and, oh, that's back. 
Yep, and they, there's two different areas of storms here. And yes, this one is definitely really strong, the one down here. Um, definitely really strong right here in parts of Nebraska and Iowa. You guys are not going to miss out. And let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, and definitely see another area of storms right here in parts of northern Minnesota there. Definitely going to be some really strong storms there. And then we go ahead and... And then they start to fade off. And we're pretty much clear after that. So, yes. But that's timing that out. So, now what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and time out our surface-based cape. So, yes. So, this will be the surface-based cape here. So, this indicates what this um, indicates who will see the most severe weather. So, let's see. So, what I'm going to show here is look at the super big cape here. It's about um, 7 o'clock here. We definitely see that energy for storms here. Lots of cape values here. Big cape values right here. Um, do we take? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. But yes, definitely a big area of cape values right here. Look at that. This is really bad. Look at this bright yellow purple right here. That means big areas. And so let's go on time style a little bit more here. So yes, and it's still sticking around. So this is about. Uh, about 2 a.m. here, still the energy, but then it starts to fade off around 6, 7 a.m. So whenever it comes morning and starts waking up, it won't have that much cape values around. So it means in those storms. And just compare this to another day here. This is like the cape values just for a normal day. Barely anything here. Nothing close to that purple we saw. And look at just these normal things here. Not, not that's nothing compared to that purple. So that indicates that this can be a very energetic day for severe weather. But yes, that is our cape value. So let's now what I want to go ahead and show you is yeah, look at that. Just compare that to how much brighter the colors are. But I want to go ahead and compare that to not compare it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you our bulk shear now. Just to give you an idea of because we if you don't if you know, we do need bulk shear for severe weather and some tornadoes. So let's see if we have enough bulk shear here. So this is the bulk shear, so let's go and time this out for you guys. Hang on just a second. Oops. So, we go on time south. This is about 4 o'clock here. We definitely see that bulk shear. Look at that. Like, like, that's red right there. So, yes, definitely we're going to have the bulk shear for severe weather here. Look at this. That's definitely some bulk shear here. Um, this one's weaker, but um, doesn't mean that we see over here there's none. So, yes, definitely means we do have some bulk shear out there. So, let's go on time this out for you guys a little bit further. So, Yes, and then it starts to go away, but compare this to, like, just another day. So, like, this is just a normal day. Notice how, like, there's a lot more blue than there was purple here and um, red, sorry. Yeah, there's more purple than there was red, and there's just, like, this is what we think. Just a lot less folks here. But, yes, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, if you did, don't, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you liked today's video. So, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See that red subscribe button right there? Click on that to subscribe. I know most of you watching right now aren't subscribed. So, make sure to subscribe if you like the latest weather-related content and get the latest updates on severe weather. Um, yes, but don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay safe, stay weather aware, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!